Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to design post tension slab in CSI tabs program in three tutorial parts. The first tutorial part, that is tutorial part one, is all about modeling and uh, tendon design. Tutorial part two is all about critical design check for a post tension slab. And the last tutorial part, that is tutorial part three, it's all about preparing structural drawing in AutoCAD program. This is our model. Let's show you the design outputs of a uh, tendon. So uh, I'm going to design the fifth floor. So uh, from this, uh, let's go to the set uh, display option here from this uh, other assessments. So uh, let's check uh, the tendon object from this uh, number of uh, strands. Apply. Okay. From this, all the uh, strand numbers in the bounded region and distribution uh, direction is uh, appeared like this. So uh, the total number of uh, strand, for example, for this uh, bounded region, uh, the total number of uh, strand is uh, 11 strands. And uh, for this uh, bounded uh, region, that is toward the axis four, uh, that means uh, in the bounded region, uh, 17 uh, number of strand is uh, designed uh, for this project. And around this, uh, the total uh, number of strand in the bounded region, that is in X uh, direction, is uh, 22 uh, strands. And for the all the distributed strand, uh, the total uh, number of strand is uh, 1. I will check uh, why I'm going to use uh, number of strand 1 uh, for the distributed strands. And we are going to uh, calculate the spacing uh, between uh, these strands. I will show uh, all the uh, necessary uh, things uh, one by one by uh, opening the ETABS uh, software. Before starting uh, today's tutorial, let's tell you uh, some project considerations. Uh, the slab thickness, uh, in case of uh, Erocode standard, let's use uh, L divided by uh, 50, that is uh, the uh, maximum span. In our case, it's uh, 8 meters. So uh, 8 meter, you have to change it to a uh, millimeter. Have to get 8,000 divided by uh, 50. That is the slab thickness for uh, initial assumption is uh, 160 uh, millimeter. Let's use a uh, 200 millimeter uh, slab thickness for initial uh, assumption. The sulfoid balancing ratio, uh, you can use 60% to 80% uh, sulfoid balancing ratio. And the concrete strength is, uh, let's use uh, C35 to uh, 45, that is the cubic and uh, cylindrical strength of concrete, uh, respectively. The pre stressing uh, tendon diameter, let's use uh, the common uh, pre stressing uh, tendon diameter, that is 50.2 uh, millimeter, with a total area of uh, 166.4 uh, millimeter square. Tendon jacking stress, uh, I have to use uh, 1000. Uh, 448 uh, megapascal and total loss. Uh, I'm going to divide uh, the total loss into two parts. That is the stress loss and the long term loss. In case of stress uh, loss, uh, we are going to use uh, 186 uh, megapascal and for a uh, long term loss, uh, 93 uh, megapascal. Bundle tendon are uh, aligned to x direction and that of the distributed tendon is aligned toward the y direction. This is uh, all about the project's uh, consideration. Watch this video up to the end to master uh, structural designs of uh, post tension slab. Now it's a time for subscribe my channel and like this video to get daily update tutorials free. Thank you. Let's start today's tutorial. To start today's tutorial, let's first cancel all this uh, tendon that uh, we are going to design before. So uh, to do this, let's go to uh, select from this uh, object type here. So uh, let's select all the uh, strip layers. I'm going to uh, delete all these uh, strip layers and uh, tendons. So I uh, make it select. After that, I uh, delete it. So uh, from this, uh, the first step uh, to design uh, the uh, post tension slab with that, uh, let's go to define all materials. So uh, go to the define menu. From this, uh, let's go to the material property. From this, uh, let's uh, go to uh, check the material property for uh, the tendon that is uh, I'm going to use this uh, material property. Uh, let's modify it. So you have to check that the material property or the material type must be uh, tendon. So I have to use uh, this uh, tendon material uh, as a default material as it is. Make it okay. 
So I uh, have to use uh, a concrete uh, strength of uh, C35 and 45, as I told it uh, before. So uh, for reinforcement or for rebars, I have to use S500. So after defining uh, all this uh, material property, uh, let's go to define section properties. Go to the define menu, section property, pendant sections here. So I'm going to uh, modify this property. It's better to use uh, tendon diameter of 50.2 uh, millimeter diameter. This is uh, a common uh, tendon diameter that is used for uh, pre-stressing for uh, slab design. So uh, from this, I'm going to uh, modify the area. The strand area is uh, 166.4 uh, for this uh, diameter of uh, tendon. So uh, before proceeding to uh, defining other attraction property, I'm going to tell you uh, some point all about these strands that are uh, placed under this tendon. A tendon or strand consists of uh, seven wires, the six of uh, them are in a helical manner, and uh, the rest one is in a central uh, manner. So this is the basic point all about uh, tendon or one uh, strand property. So uh, let's go to define other uh, section properties. So uh, let's go to uh, define section property, uh, slab sections. As I told you before, uh, the slab thickness for initial uh, assumption is that uh, total length or the maximum uh, span divided by uh, that of uh, 50. So uh, you can use uh, 160 uh, millimeter slab thickness, but in our case, it's better to use slab thickness of uh, 200 for this for this uh, post tension slab design. So uh, let's go to use this as uh, initial a slab design uh, make it okay after defining the section property and that of the material property let's proceed to uh, defining the load case go to define menu load patterns from this i'm going to define before uh, the live load the partition wall load uh, the floor finish load and earthquake and wind load plus that of uh, soil pressure and uh, surcharge loads like this but uh, the basic point for uh, pre-stressing is that uh, the PT final and PT uh, transfer loads, it's not uh, important uh, to define here because uh, as I'm going to draw all the tendons, the PT final and PT transfer load cases are automatically defined by the software itself. But for a general analogy, I'm going to tell you what is PT uh, final and PT uh, transfer load cases mean. PT final uh, load case is nothing but it's used to analyze the model for the final stress. After all stress uh, loads are uh, occurred and that of uh, the PT transfer load is nothing but it's defined as or it's uh, used for the applications of uh, post tension forces prior to the occurrence of uh, that of the long term uh, loss. I'm going to uh, delete this. This is because other I'm going to draw the uh, tendons, uh, the software automatically defines uh, this load case. After defining all the material property, section property and that of uh, all the load cases, let's go to uh, draw all the tendon uh, in X uh, direction, that means in one direction and that of in Y direction as distributed tendon. After that, the software automatically uh, by itself calculate the number of uh, tendon in uh, the vertical uh, profiles of tendon in uh, the band direction. So uh, let's go to do it. Before that, um, we are going to uh, draw the design strip in both X and Y direction. After drawing the design strip, uh, we are going to draw uh, automatically uh, the tendons using that uh, design strip. So uh, let's go to draw first design strip. So uh, to do this, go to the edit menu. From that, uh, let's go to add or edit design strip. From this add design strip using uh, grid. So uh, I'm going to uh, design the fifth story so we are going to uh, select the fifth story after that uh, we, are, uh, we are neglecting uh, the middle uh, design strips in our uh, post tension design so uh, let's go to uh, the grid direction so the grid direction is towards the x direction and the top the strip layer you have to make it as uh, a after that uh, select the strip which is as also so make it apply all the grid in X uh, direction, that is in bounded direction, is drawn like this. So let's go to add grid towards the distributed uh, tendon direction, that is towards the Y direction. So to do this, I have to change the grid direction as Y and the grid layer as uh, B. After that, I make it apply. So the grid in Y direction is drawn like this. Make it OK. have to cancel all this grid and redraw it again. So uh, let's go to uh, the draw menu. From the draw menu, draw a uh, design strips. 
by ignoring all the design uh, widgets, you have to draw uh, these grids. So uh, our grid is toward this x direction. So you have to use uh, the strip layer as B. After that, uh, go to this and draw uh, like this. It's uh, so simple. Uh, you can draw uh, like this because this grid is not a uh, continue starting from uh, the first point to the end. So I have to draw around this. Go to select menu from that object types. So you have to select by object type that is strip layer B and uh, strip layer A. Make it select. After that, go to the edit menu. Add or edit design strips here. Edit a uh, strip with us. So I have to make uh, out of all the design strips. After that, uh, make it okay. After doing this, uh, automatically you can draw all the uh, tendons toward this X direction, that is the bundle tendon, and toward the Y direction, that is the distributed tendon. So uh, to do this, uh, let's go to uh, select menu. After that, uh, go to select here by uh, object types. So uh, let's go to uh, select the strip layer in A direction, that is in X direction, that mean. So uh, select it. Go to uh, the edit menu, add or edit tenders, add tender using uh, the selected strips. From this, uh, let's go to draw all the uh, bounded regions or all the bounded tendons toward the as X direction. So uh, the layout type, you have to make it as uh, bounded. After that, uh, the bounded is, you have to make it uh, zero. This is because uh, the uh, total uh, number of strands in the band direction is calculated automatically by the software. After that, uh, the tendon uh, property, you have to select uh, the tendon properties that we are going to uh, define before. The vertical profile, I have to make a parabola for uh, the banded region and you have to make a reverse parabola for uh, that of uh, the distributed uh, tendon. I will show it uh, later. So uh, let's make it a parabola for uh, the uh, banded region, that is uh, the profiles of uh, the banded region tendons. After that, uh, the basic point is here, that is the self-load uh, balancing ratio. As I told it before, the maximum and minimum uh, self-load uh, balancing ratio is that of 60% uh, and 80%, uh, so you have to make it as it is. After that, uh, make it okay. The program uh, automatically calculates uh, the number of strands in bounded direction, that's in its direction. So uh, let's go to uh, check the uh, number of strands and that of uh, the checking stress and the vertical profiles of uh, this strand. So uh, to check this, let's uh, go to uh, hold down the control key. After that, uh, right click on uh, the uh, axis or uh, on the uh, strip. After that, uh, let's uh, click the tendon five. That is uh, the uh, number of uh, assigned to this uh, tendon on axis five. So make it okay. This is uh, all about the vertical profiles of uh, the tendon. So you can, uh, See all the uh, property here, uh, the total uh, number of strand is uh, 22 strands. Uh, we are going to uh, distribute this strand by calculating the spacing uh, towards the column strip. I will show it in tutorial part three. So after that, uh, let's go to check uh, the tendon uh, loads from this. Uh, as I told it uh, before, the charging stress load is uh, 1,488 uh, megapascal. That is right after that. And let's go to check uh, the tendon losses. Uh, that of the uh, stressing loss is uh, like this. And the long term loss is uh, 93 uh, megapascal, as I told it uh, before. To draw the distributed tendon, I will tell you uh, some basic points. So uh, all of you must give attention here. So uh, let's go to uh, the select menu again from this uh, select by object types. So all the distributed uh, tendon is toward the Y direction. So we have to use the strip layer B. After that, uh, select. So uh, from here, uh, let's go to uh, the edit menu again. Add or edit tendon. Add tendon using uh, the selected strips here. The layout type, yeah, you have to make it uh, distributed. Tendon spacing, uh, this is the basic point. Uh, all of you must know. And in case of uh, European norm of a uh, standard or that of Euro code, I have to use the maximum tendon spacing in the distribution uh, direction must be uh, less than or equal to that of a uh, 1.5 times slab thickness. So I have to use a uh, 1.5 times a uh, slab thickness that is a uh, 200 uh, millimeter. 
So uh, the uh, maximum attendance spacing I uh, have going to use for uh, this uh, distribution spacing is uh, calculated uh, like this. So uh, after calculating all this uh, spacing, I'm going to use in similar way that of the self uh, load balancing ratio. You can revise this uh, distribution tendon spacing after uh, checking cell thickness for uh, deformation or uh, for serviceability check for this uh, post tension uh, designs. So uh, after that, let's make it okay. Uh, draw like this, but I'm going to redraw all these uh, strands again, make it uh, delete. After that, I'm going to uh, select these strands. I'm going to select these two strands. So let's go to the replicate menu. After that, I'm going to replicate towards this uh, data points remainder toward the next direction. That is uh, the number of strands where I'm going to cancel is five. So make it okay. All these strands are uh, draw like this, and I'm going to redraw and cancel all these strands again, all these strands in similar way. Our, our tendon is draw like this, so I'm going to replicate it again. So I replicate it, 0 0.3, I will make it uh, 5. This is uh, the spacing between uh, the tendon. Let's make it uh, 8. Let's make it uh, 10 and apply it, uh, let's make it a uh, 50. I will apply it and check it. Oh, sorry, additional strands are drawn. So I will cancel this. Yes, yes. You always are uh, enough. This is all about the distribution uh, tendon towards the y direction. So uh, the value of strand in the distribution tendon is uh, 1, 1. In some case, I have to face a distribution uh, strand is uh, 2 and more. That means that you are, your slab is not balanced for uh, self wide and uh, you have to uh, revise your uh, tendon spacing again. The uh, distribution tendon towards the y direction has one strand uh, means that your uh, self wide balancing ratio is good and your uh, spacing for that of uh, the distribution tendon is uh, adequate. So uh, it's uh, better uh, to that. You have to check that the strand towards the distribution direction must be uh, one. This is all about today's tutorial. In the next tutorial part, that is tutorial part two, we will see uh, key parameters that structural engineers must check during the post tension slab analysis and design, like the deformation, that is uh, to ensure stability and that of uh, the flake general stress uh, for the safety of the structure and that of uh, the punching shirt uh, to avoid failure. See you there. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.